right uh, i noticed in my last two videos there was disturbances caused by the fan or uh, the computer so i changed my mic setup a little bit so i hope this video is clear now in this video we'll be installing uh, postgres and to be honest i've already installed uh, postgres on pre german but you guys are just you know rewind the steps so you start to go to postgres app.com and okay why we do why we install postgres because it's way better than sql the standard version and it also gives you more uh, flexibility for example sometimes uh, there can be errors caused by uh, caused by sql when you modify your table and uh, postgres is known for not having such troubles so for windows as such as just go to download and you see the download option currently it's using a uh, postgres 12 so you start to click download and i am not going to download again but it's cancel it and we will be also using a uh, app called pg admin and this is basically used to view our tables or databases in postgres i'll just show you but you start to click download and select which one you're using windows mac or linux so we'll be using mac so i'm using mac so i'm going to click mac and you'll be running this version pg admin 4.2.0 right now that uh, once you install both of it you just have to open uh, the postgres app and for me there are currently four databases and and it will be displayed like this but for new users who have just installed it i don't think this would be useful right now so you just have to click a button called initialize which should be present around here and once you click initialize you should be able to see this database should not be there but system at you postgres and template would be there right so some that use my username so hence the name you will be different for you guys so let's get going you just have to double click on postgres and it will open the terminal inside postgres and we'll be using this to create users and set up your password right uh, so you can create new users in this in postgres but for deployment purpose i mean for development purposes i would suggest you use the default user postgres itself and to set up password you just have to type slash password and your username so for us it for the by default if you using the default user to postgres or whatever user you created and enter so enter your new password so i'm just going to type mine Okay, so I think that's done. Right, all right. So now we'll create the database. So create database. Uh, whatever database name you want, so we'll call it PS Database DB, and we want to specify the owner as Postgres itself. And when i mention postgres is the postgres user and the app all right so we can enter done right i forgot to put the semi column and since it was not created so let's type it again bstb on post Press semicolon. Now it should work. Now 
Let's show some other image check. This was caused because they were expecting a semicolon after this, but I typed this, so hence the error. But I don't think it should appear again. So here, database, DSTV. Oh no, what's this? Yep. So basically, this second line was expecting the semicolon, but my bad, I don't know the entire line. And it's the error, but now it should. Now that the database has been created, uh, right now if you type backslash shell, uh, you should be able to see all the database is present. And there it is, BSDB, BTR, EB, roster, posters, etc. And I'll just uh, exit by typing by typing slash q and done so there is here it is bstb now let's take care of pg admin so when you install pg admin it will ask you to set up a password uh, let's just open it Right, I just paused the video so it doesn't do. Right, uh, it seems it's loaded and currently it seems a new version has been released. Yeah, that's right, I guess. Uh, I need time to close that. Anyways, so I'll just ignore that for now and once uh, talk about the master password later. I'll just. Alright, here is where your server should be by default for mac or linux users i guess uh, the server should be not there when you open it up uh, when you are new to it but windows i guess uh, it will be by default when your server have been created so you just have to click create server i'm not gonna create anything so i'm gonna give it a name uh, uh give you guys server name so i guess i'll call it DB server something like that uh, and connection you have to give it host as low good host password or uh, sub password whatever you wish right uh, and uh, the password there's, there's nothing there and just click save um, I'm gonna close it because uh, I already have created it let's just see huh. Right, uh, hmm. yeah, so here it is, our BSTB server. Uh, everything is there. Uh, since we are not creating tables, so nothing will be there, but we have our database in BSTB. This two are default, and this one is for my other project. So I guess that's it and i think mm, this should be enough once i created the table i just should. currently there's no tables yeah since we are not migrated so let's go migrate let's go set this up in our budget all right before I, for, before I forget uh, there's one more thing just click properties uh default privileges i think we have to add a grand key and at default now I'm gonna go with postgres itself and privileges all and save it this uh, uh, is because we don't want any errors in the future I'm not saying it will cause errors but we don't want to take any risk so just set that up so I think uh, I just minimize this for now and go to code close this up so right uh, before i forget we have to install a couple of uh, dependencies with they are uh, psycopg2 and psycopg2 binary and they act like drivers to connect to our postgres so i'll just say okay install psycopg2 and 
and don't worry about that just and uh, just leave it there and I'll install pip install psycopg2 binary I don't know why uh, it's not supposed to happen but it did happen to me when I did the last project also and it seems that by installing this uh, the error the error did not occur when I tried to use it so I'll just print, install this and I check the internet and all and it said I mean as long as this is there this problem should uh, should be fine uh, we'll see as the video processes and uh, if there are any errors that happens because of this we'll solve it then and there okay let's continue all right so we'll set this up uh, by going to our settings uh, don't worry about this resource although i just thought everything the search log and custom statement which is folder because uh, it was kind of irritating moving back and forth anyways by going to settings.py uh, we'll be changing our database settings right I uh, forgot to mention something in my last video I said we create our app but once we create app we also have to you know put it in an installed app it worked because there was no model.py or anything but otherwise it should have failed uh, and to add it to our install we just have to name it just pages that's it done and uh, I would suggest you guys leave a space here so that you know what is Django Django's apps and what is your installed apps which you installed right so let's change our database here it is I'll delete till here we don't want the name uh, we don't want this name so uh, Shit, I'll delete till the SQL like 3 you want the backups so it's gonna be called PostgreSQL and the name it would be the name of the database you created which would be STP for you what was named it and it's gonna have extra two parameters uh, three parameters the user the password and the host for the user it is Postgres since we used our default user or for you if you created a new user suggest uh, the name should be that and the password uh, I'm not gonna show you guys password so, but so I'll just say my I'll type my password here and that's not my password yet I'm not gonna show you and, and host is localhost localhost all right so, uh, i think uh, let's go to us and if you uh, try to run our server that is python manager.pz run server you'll be seeing some Hmm. All right, let me check. Server. Wait, now that works. Now you'll be seeing some uh, uh, warning called warning says that you have 17 unapplied migrations and you are not migrated or something like that. And uh, this is because by default migrations by which means that uh, some instructions in Django that tells our database what to do and how you create migrations is by typing python manage.py make migrations but we had that we haven't done that in our video so you might be wondering what this is this is because basically when you create an app i mean a project django has a django has some default migrations which contains uh, our admin north sessions etc uh, tables we have I told you we have a user tables by default set up by Django which will be modifying of course so that's why this is present so it is 
you just have to type new key migration so i'll just click the server right so we just have to type python manage py migrate uh normally we make my we type python my dot py make migration because before migrate but since we haven't created any models or anything that is applied to the database we don't need to do that and in this 17 unapplied migrations were all be present when you created this project so just and if there are any errors it should be visible right now okay no errors um let's go check our pgrt wait uh open it that i'll just read out this let's see uh i know this one now in the server okay so the server name of the server but whatever is the user it should be there and the bstb and the schemas public use it table and there it is the uh, tables which are created by django by default and this is an archive and the happy uh, table should be empty you can create column index rule etc anyways we will end our video section here now that we have installed postgres as i told before uh, this error shouldn't matter but if something does come up you can uh, message me instead and i'll reply to you as soon as possible anyways uh, thank you for watching